Hey everybody, this video is going to walk you guys through how to create a drawing file as well as dimension um, a drawing file. So the first step is, is obviously draw the object inside of Onshape. After you do that, you're going to come down to this little plus and you're going to create create drawing. Um, in this case, our document is in inches, so we're going to use ANSI A inches. Um, if your document and in future documents they might be in millimeters, um, you are going to use millimeters. It depends on what you drew in. So these first top two are the ones that we're worried about most. So you're going to use ANSI inches DWT here in the very first, and that's just the default. So I press OK because in this one it is in inches. After I press OK, it'll automatically load the drawing file, and it'll ask you for what part you want to reference from. Um, so in this case, there's only one to select, and that's the part that we made. And it's going to automatically bring up a front view. I can select and click once. And as you can see, I'm just moving my mouse in the up direction so that I can create the top view. I click again. I move over, and then um, I'm going to collect and select the front view again to create the right view. And then last, I'm going to click the front view and move my mouse, not drag, move my mouse into the isometric view to create the complete orthographic projection and multi-view. After I have that all set, um, I can now start dimensioning. So before I do that, I would like to reference this little wrench over here. These are the drawing properties. Um, this allows you to manipulate some of the things inside of here. I would recommend changing um, the precision here to just two standard deviation. It's a little extreme to be doing three or four. Um, tolerance precision, I'd also bring back down to two. Um, and that's all I would mess with. You can hit the little gear. There's another, if you right click, another way to get to that. You can go to drawing properties and it'll bring it open as well if, if, you're, if your little wrench isn't there. Um, but in this case, we're going to start dimensioning. So in up here, you're going to see the little dimensioning tool. And we can select points, angles, lines, edges, whatever we want in this case. Um, and it won't disallow you um, any of those kind of features that, that allow you to, to create a dimension. What I mean by that is, say you wanted a dimension to a hidden line. It's not going to, um, you know, stop you from doing that. So just a heads up, um, follow the rules that we kind of taught you and went over in class, as well as um, some of the guidelines that the flowchart uh, referenced to. So in this case, I'm just going to reference to some simple, um, you know, overall length and then some positioning and um, size systems here and dimensions. So I'm going to collect these lines. And as you can see, you can see that it does not touch the part that's important. Um, there's nothing you do specifically. It's just to reference that this edge is stopped and these extension lines are um, beginning. So we have that, and then the last, um, in this specific drawing, would be the actual extrusion here. Um, we have the height, we have everything we need. Um, in this case, we have the depth, we have the height, we have the um, width in this case, so we have the width, um, and we should be good to go. The other thing, after you're done dimensioning this, would be to add Specifically, and I'll hit escape a couple times. You can add your your name if I double click, and you kind of weird. You saw, I'll stop that real quick. You can't click directly on it. You have to click a little bit above it. I'm not sure why that is. It's just a little little error in the manual. So you can delete this, and you can put you know your name, um, and then you press the green check mark, and now your name is in what's called a title block down here. Um, if you can't fit things on the screen, you can either um, go to right click and go to sheet properties and this allows you to change the size of the sheet so let's say we wanted to go B that'll make it a lot larger without having to mess with the scale here um, or any of that kind of stuff so just some little tidbits there um, and if we close it out it, it makes a cease so um, beyond that to save or to you know if you wanted a pretty version of this rather than just taking a screenshot you can come up here and you can go to print Print will automatically develop this perfect screenshot for you, and then you can just download um, and submit wherever you want to as a PDF. Um, makes it a little easier for you guys. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, just ask your teacher. Thanks.